Welcome. Today, we explore the intriguing topic of famous people who lost everything, where the allure of fame and fortune hides stories of abrupt downfall. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest on celebrity lives. Let's dive in. Number 20. Judy Garland, born June 10, 1922, in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, was a legendary American actress and singer known for her starring role as Dorothy Gale in the 1939 musical film, The Wizard of Oz. Garland's popularity made her a leading star at MGM Studios throughout the 1940s. However, due to her struggles with addiction and weight caused by the studio system's pressure and abuse, her film career waned. By 1950, she attempted suicide. In 1954, due to personal and financial problems, Garland's declining health was exacerbated by her substance abuse issues. In later life, although she passed away in 1969 at age 47 in London from an accidental drug overdose, Judy Garland remains one of the most iconic performers in Hollywood history. Number 19. Candace Patricia Bergen was born on May 9, 1946, in Beverly Hills, California, United States. She became a star in the 1960s after roles in The Group, and a famous 133-year run on the TV show, Murphy Brown, for which she won five Emmys. However, in 2008, Bergen faced financial ruin due to losses in her interior design firm and the economic recession. As a result of substantial debt, she had to sell her Manhattan home. Media outlets reported on the surprising money troubles experienced by the renowned 62-year-old actress. Although her wealth and property were diminished, Bergen continued her successful acting career and established another interior design business. Do you like actress Candace Patricia Bergen? If yes, please comment 1. If not, comment 0 to let us know. Number 18. Barbara Streisand, born April 24, 1942, in Brooklyn, New York, first rose to fame in the 1960s for her powerful voice and portrayals of rags-to-riches women in films like, Funny Girl, and, The Way We Were. By the 1970s, she had become one of the top-selling music artists of all time. However, in the 1980s, Streisand's career suffered major financial losses when her retail enterprises, including her Central Park boutique and home video company, went bankrupt. The millions lost deeply shocked her fans. Though embarrassed by the business failures, Streisand remained committed to singing and acting, winning an Oscar for her return to film in 1996's, The Mirror Has Two Faces. Number 17. Leslie Lawson, known professionally as Twiggy, was born on September 19, 1949, in Neasden, London, England. She rose to global fame in the 1960s as one of the first internationally successful British models. She was notable for helping popularize the miniskirt and androgynous look. However, by the late 1970s, Twiggy had invested poorly and declared bankruptcy after several failed business ventures. As a result, she lost her mansion, company, and savings. The press reported on her fall from the heights of international celebrity. Though her modeling career declined, Twiggy rebuilt her public profile through television presenting and acting roles in the 1980s and 1990s. Number 16. Edie Sedgwick, born in 1943 in Santa Barbara, California, rose to fame as one of the original supermodels in New York during the 1960s. Known as Andy Warhol's superstar, she appeared in many of his experimental films. Sedgwick became a prominent figure of the factory scene and represented the cultural explosion of the time. However, her modeling fame and artistic success were short-lived due to her struggles with mental illness and drug addiction. By 1971, 
Sedgwick had lost everything due to her uncontrolled drug use, spending time in and out of institutions for treatment shocked the public at the time. While her troubled life and untimely death in 1971 at the young age of 28 were tragic, Sedgwick remains a celebrated figure who came to represent the decadence and excesses of the 1960s era in New York. Number 15. Joan Baez, born January 9, 1941, in Staten Island, New York, was one of the most popular folk singers of the 1960s. She first rose to fame with her distinctive vocal style and her songs of peace, social justice, and nonviolent activism. In the late 1970s, Baez began to struggle financially due to poor career choices and mismanagement of her money. By 1981, she was bankrupt and owed over $500,000 in back taxes. This shocked her loyal fan base, as Baez had been politically outspoken and passionately supported many charitable causes throughout her successful career. She was forced to sell her ranch and take a hiatus from touring and recording to deal with her financial troubles. Though facing difficult times, Baez was determined to get back on her feet and continued performing and releasing music. Number 14. Eartha Kitt, born January 17, 1927, in North, South Carolina, was a renowned singer and actress. She rose to fame in the 1950s with her sensual voice and appeared in movies and on Broadway. Kitt attained wealth and international recognition at the peak of her performing career. However, in the late 1960s, financial mismanagement left her nearly penniless. By 1975, after a period of lavish spending, Kit was unable to pay her taxes and faced bankruptcy. This shocked fans of the elegant star, as she had experienced decades of success. To pay off her debts estimated at $300,000, Kit was forced to sell her possessions and take any acting jobs offered. The difficult time took both an emotional and professional toll on Kit. Although her earnings were recovering by the 1980s, this financial crisis marked a career downturn from which Kit struggled to recover. Number 13. Meryl Streep was born on June 22, 1949, in Summit, New Jersey, United States. She rose to fame in the late 1970s for her extensive work in theater and breakthrough role in Kramer vs. Kramer, for which she won her first Academy Award. However, in the early 1990s, Streep suffered significant financial losses after her husband's construction firm went bankrupt. She lost not only her family's savings but also their home. Years of tax problems followed due to the debt. The press covered the story of the revered actress facing money troubles for the first time in her career. Though her career continued, Streep had to start rebuilding her personal wealth. Do you like actress Meryl Streep? If yes, please comment 1. If not, comment 0 to let us know. Number 12. Shirley Temple, born April 23, 1928, in Santa Monica, California, became an iconic child star of the 1930s thanks to roles in films like, Curly Top, and, The Little Princess. However, by the 1940s, Temple's box office popularity had declined. After marrying her second husband, Charles Black, in 1950, her career suffered further setbacks due to personal tragedies, and she found herself on the verge of bankruptcy. By the late 1950s, the public was surprised by Temple's financial troubles, given her earlier superstar status in Hollywood. She eventually bounced back and forged a successful second career in politics as a U.S. delegate to the United Nations. Although her star had faded, 
Shirley Temple remained admired for her talent and resilience. Number 11. Diana Dors was born Diana Mary Fluck in 1931 in Swindon, England. She rose to fame in 1950s British cinema as the blonde bombshell portrayed in films like Yield to the Night and The Unholy Wife. With her sensational good looks and curvaceous figure, Dors became one of Britain's biggest sex symbols of the era. However, by the late 1970s, frequent wild spending left her deeply in debt. In the 1980s, multiple health issues made it difficult for her to find work. Near bankruptcy, Doors died alone in 1984 at only 52 years old. While the public was shocked by her lonely demise, Doors remained a stalwart example of the fleeting nature of fame and how personal demons can destroy even the most glowing of stars. Regardless, Doors left an indelible mark as the quintessential English screen siren of her time. Do you like actress Diana Doors? If yes, please comment 1. If not, comment 0 to let us know. Number 10. Peggy Lee, born Norma Delaris Eggstrom on May 26, 1920, in Jamestown, North Dakota was one of the most popular female jazz singers of the mid-20th century. In the 1960s, Lee achieved great fame and critical acclaim with hit songs like, Fever, and, Is That All There Is. However, by the mid-1970s, Lee was facing serious financial problems due to poor investments and mismanagement of her assets. Stripped of her wealth and earnings, she filed for bankruptcy in 1976. This shocked fans who had long admired Lee's talents and successful career. To repay her debts of over $1 million, the once influential star was left with no choice but to take any performance opportunities at her advanced age. Though facing struggles, Lee courageously worked until shortly before her death in 2002. Number 9. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen in 1926 in Los Angeles, became a worldwide sex symbol as a Hollywood actress and singer with iconic films like, The Seven Year Itch, and, Some Like It Hot. Monroe rose to fame in the 1950s, known for her breathy voice and glamorous looks. However, she privately suffered from mental illness and drug addiction. By 1962, at age 36, Monroe's life was spiraling out of control due to her dependence on barbiturates and dissociative drugs. Her ominous death by drug overdose that year shocked the public and spawned decades of speculation. While Monroe's untimely death extinguished a bright light of classic Hollywood, her lasting legacy as a style icon and portrayal of the fragile beauty within continued inspiring millions worldwide. Number 8. Jane Mansfield, born April 19, 1933, in Pennsylvania, rose rapidly as a leading sex symbol of Hollywood in the 1950s with her curvaceous physique and platinum blonde bombshell image. Mansfield became known worldwide after starring in films like, The Girl Can't Help It. However, by 1967, at age 34, Mansfield's star had faded along with changing tastes. That year, her reckless driving resulted in a fatal car crash that took her life. Mansfield's shocking death intensified her myth as a Marilyn Monroe-esque sex symbol cut down too soon. While she never achieved serious acting recognition, Mansfield remains renowned as the quintessential Hollywood blonde of her era, whose beauty, ambition, and flaws embodied 1950s pop culture's fascination with curvy femininity.
Number 7. Dusty Springfield, born Mary Isabel Catherine Bernadette O'Brien in 1939 in London, rose to fame in the 1960s as a blue-eyed soul singer and style icon with her powerful vocals on hits like, Son of a Preacher Man, and, I Only Want to Be With You. Springfield gained widespread popularity. However, by the late 1980s, her personal struggles began taking a toll. Springfield's declining health and struggles with depression were exacerbated by alcohol and prescription drug abuse related to breast cancer treatment. She died of cancer in 1999 at age 59. While her life was cut short, Springfield cemented her legacy as one of the most influential white soul singers and a pioneering force in pop music with her unique voice and androgynous imagery. Do you like actress Dusty Springfield? If yes, please comment 1. If not, comment 0 to let us know. Oh. Number 6. Grace Slick, born October 30, 1939, in Highland Park, Illinois, rose to fame in the 1960s as the lead singer of the iconic rock band Jefferson Airplane. With her powerful vocals and bold image, Slick helped define the emerging psychedelic rock genre. However, by the late 1970s, Slick's lifestyle had become reckless, and her finances disorganized. After filing for bankruptcy in 1979, she found herself broke, deep in debt, and without a recording contract. The fall from grace of the bold frontwoman shocked the public. To repay nearly $500,000, Slick was forced to take occasional solo work. Though she rebuilt her personal life and estate in the coming years, bankruptcy marked a downturn in Slick's illustrious music career with Jefferson Airplane and beyond. Number 5. Mama Cass, born Ellen Naomi Cohen in 1941 in Baltimore, was best known as one of the singers for the folk rock group The Mamas and the Papas. With her powerful vocals on hits like, California Dreamin', Mama Cass rose to fame in the 1960s as the band sold over 40 million records worldwide. However, her career was cut short when she died of a heart attack at age 32 in 1974. Considered overweight by society's standards at the time, speculation about her death fueled criticism about her weight. Nonetheless, Mama Cass remained a beloved pop icon remembered for her Earth Mother persona and soulful voice that helped define the vibrant 60s counterculture movement in California. Number 4. Lucille Ball, born August 6, 1911, in Jamestown, New York, was a legendary comedic actress best known for her seminal sitcom, I Love Lucy, in the 1950s. Ball was reportedly the most watched person on television and commanded $1 million per episode. However, financial difficulties arose after her divorce from Daisy Arnaz in 1960, when their company Desilu went bankrupt. By the late 1960s, Ball's career had slowed, and she found herself deep in debt. Despite her earlier status as the queen of comedy, though her iconic status diminished, Ball rebounded and remained a revered figure in television. She pioneered new innovations and inspired countless comedic actresses today. Number 3. Betty Davis, born Ruth Elizabeth Davis in 1908 in Lowell, Massachusetts, became a legendary actress of Hollywood's golden age with iconic performances in films such as Dangerous and Jezebel. Davis rose to international stardom in the 1930s to 1940s, known for her complex, fatal roles. However, by the 1970s, at age 62, Davis's career had declined significantly. She experienced difficult personal circumstances, including bankruptcy. Nonetheless, Davis remained a resilient figure dedicated to her craft. 
In her later years, she focused on television, including a memorable guest appearance on the hit sitcom, Family. Davis passed away in 1989 at the age of 81, cementing her legacy as one of the greatest actresses in classic film. Number 2. Debbie Reynolds, born Mary Frances Reynolds on April 1, 1932, in El Paso, Texas, rose to fame as a Hollywood actress and singer. Some of her notable roles included her breakout performance in Singin' in the Rain in 1952 and The Unsinkable Molly Brown in 1964, for which she received a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. In 1973, Reynolds filed for bankruptcy after poor business decisions depleted her wealth. The public was stunned by the fall from grace of the beloved star. Although her Hollywood career slowed after this, she remained a beloved figure and continued performing until her death alongside her daughter Carrie Fisher in 2016. Despite financial hardship late in life, Reynolds had an indelible influence on classic Hollywood musicals. Do you like actress Debbie Reynolds? If yes, please comment 1. If not, comment 0 to let us know. Number 1. Tina Turner, born Anna Mae Bullock on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, achieved worldwide fame in the 1980s as the queen of rock and roll. By the 1990s, Turner had cemented her status as a living legend with her distinctive voice and energetic performances. However, after divorcing Ike Turner in 1978, she found herself without wealth or resources. At the age of 38, she filed for bankruptcy that same year due to ongoing legal battles. This rock icon nearly lost everything she had worked to build in the music industry. Determined to make a comeback, Turner released her best-selling album, Private Dancer, in 1984, kickstarting a new chapter in her career. Though she faced tremendous personal and financial obstacles, Turner triumphantly proved she remained a musical force. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the lives of those who experienced the ups and downs of fame. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more captivating stories from the entertainment world.